email. So here's the embossing and initial setup and using this pressure washer. So inside the box, it comes with pretty good accessories. This pressure washer puts up 1800 PSI at 2.0 gallons per minute. So especially for you car enthusiasts and if you're going to be using a phone cannon, this would be one of the better units to get. A lot of the sub $200 pressure washers are only at 1.2 or 1.3, maybe 1.4 gallons per minute max. But if you want to get better phone, you're going to want a higher value uh, GPM of a pressure washer. So if you look at all those reviews from uh, detailing pros, they would suggest a higher gallon per minute pressure washer. And a lot of those other units are into the higher price ranges. This cat is at $1.99 you can purchase from Amazon and I'll put links to down below. So it's got good organization for this pressure washer. It has a container for accessories that will hold the gun. It has a core drill and also a wheel for the hose. And here I'm getting it installed and set up. Drill here is on one end, and it also has little spots for where you can attach the nozzles, the different nozzles for the gun. Here's another plus that I love about this pressure washer it comes with a high pressure rubber hose. A lot of the sub $150, even $200 pressure washers, the hose that they come with are these hard plastic ones. And it's kind of a pain to untangle and put away because of the hard plastic hose. This one with the rubber hose, it's much better and a higher quality hose. Uh, the high pressure rubber hose is kink free. So it attaches here to the side of the unit and then attaching into the spray gun with standard fittings. You're able to get other accessories without having to buy special adapters. That's the other thing that's great about this pressure washer is that They've had the customer in mind when they built this and put this together. So this is the side reel where you can, for storage, attach the rubber hose. I love that this comes with a high pressure rubber hose. I'm not a fan of those plastic hose for the pressure washers. It's kind of a pain to put away. And it's a, uh, GFCI plug at the end of it so of course for safety since you're going to be using this in wet environments and it comes with four different tips for the spray gun on the pressure gun there's different different types of tips there's a zero degree for the highest pressure setting 15 degree 25 degree and 40 degree nozzles so first I'm going to be trying out the 15 degrees since I'm going to be blasting the concrete. After a couple of years of dirt built up on it, it's gotten pretty dirty. The green one is 25 degree, the white nozzle is 40 degree, fan nozzle, and the red one is the zero degree which will give you the highest pressure setting. So where the garden hose attaches to the side of the CAT 1800 pressure washer, it's a brass fitting. So with a plastic, rubberized plastic uh, knob, but at least it's brass inside so it's metal so it's not going to be easy to break. So make sure you purge the pressure washer after you get the water supply flowing. You can see here, it's got very good cleaning units, 3600 cleaning units to push out all that dirt. And as you can see here, it works very well. I'm really happy that this thing puts out two, two gallons per minute, which increases, along with the 1800 PSI, it increases the cleaning units. So here I'm gonna try out the 
foam blaster. It's not a foam cannon by any means, it's a foam blaster, so it doesn't have a fan nozzle at the tip. I'm using Chemical Guys uh, foam soap or foam shampoo in it. Uh, it called for one to two ounces, so I put in two ounces with, and filled up the, the container with water. And here I'm going to try it out with the foam blaster. Uh, it's not a foam cannon, so it doesn't have a fan setting. It's more of a stream setting, but it still produced very good foam with the soap that I used uh, by Chemical Guys. I'm going to be putting out more videos with a different foam cannon for auto detailing, but this still works pretty good. So here, as you can see with an aerial shot, you can see the distribution of the foam blaster. Uh, and in this one container, it did use up that container to be able to blanket the whole car with the foam and foam suds, but it's okay for now. And besides, this is just a free foam blaster that it came with, it's not what you would want to use for auto detailing if you're going to want a better foam cam. But considering with what it comes with, it's pretty decent with the pressure that it puts out. Here's some more close-up view of the dispersion of the foam uh, with the GoPro at the tip by the nozzle of this. For rinsing off, I'm using the 40 degree nozzle tip. It took out most of the bugs. Uh, there were a bunch of bugs in the front, and I'm pretty happy with how this thing performs. So, the the better it is at cleaning, the less you're gonna have to use a uh, sponge or any contact with the paint. As far as uh, having no contact, that's all around gonna be better without having a scrub to minimize your micro scratches that you're gonna be putting down into the paint with a sponge or contact wash. So because of that, I believe that this pressure washer is going to be great for auto detailing. And of course, other household projects. I switch back to the 15 degree nozzle and here I start cleaning up the sidewalk and you can just see how effective it is at removing that even the moss that is been around for years on this walkway. So all in all, I give this pressure washer two thumbs up. I'm going to have a bunch more videos coming up, so please stay tuned and subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you can get notifications. Uh, I'm waiting for a new foam cannon for this and show you how well this is going to put out foam for auto detailing and your car washing fans. Thanks for watching. This is a sponsored video, but everything in here are my own thoughts and experiences regarding this product and how I like it. So please share and like the video. Anyways, I'm gonna have more content coming out with this special washer and how good it is and how I'm liking it. So click the bell icon so you can be notified and subscribe. Thanks.